Please note, this video is intended to be an installation overview, not an exact step-by-step -step process. Before you begin, read the manual directions and follow all the safety precautions. Do not install this kit if you do not have the expertise or equipment. It is better to find a licensed converter than put your equipment and self in danger. Modifications may be necessary on some truck makes and models. We are happy to provide phone support and give us a call with any questions. This 2013 F-350 4x4 long bed truck is being converted for David Charvet, landscaper to Hollywood's elite, using the Pierce P046 UFLBK two-done dump kit. Your Pierce dump kit may be different color. The customer requested we paint the scissor assembly black in order for the dump kit to mimic the stealth appearance of this custom truck by Galpin Aldo Sports. The installation process may be different depending on the year, model, and make of the vehicle. It's important to note the 2013 F-350 4x4 long bed truck requires the following extra considerations. 1. Gas filler adjustments. 2. Bumper modifications. 3. Offset scissor by 2 inch to 3 inch. 4. Notch chassis frame. Your two-ton P046 UFLBK dump kit includes scissor assembly with cylinder, hinges, hinge arms, lower frame, stiffener plate, frame angles, guides, gas filler bracket, filler extension, hydraulic kit, hardware kit, electrical kit, Booker 12 volt hydraulic pump, pump bracket. Get started by disconnecting all bed wiring, hoses and bed bolts. Remove anything that connects to the bed like the bumper, gas filler, spare tire and cross arm. There are two frame cuts at the rear of the right and left frame members. A rectangular cut to allow the horizontal 3 8 of an inch thickness of the hinge arm to recess into the frame, allowing the bed to fit flush with the frame. It is about three quarters of an inch by two inch. The second is the cut for the welded spacer nut on the hinge. It's about three quarters of an inch in radius, with some of that circular clearance extending off the back edge of the frame. Grind the metal until smooth. Since this vehicle will be used in California, there is an extra emissions tank, so the installer offset the lower frame. Most 2004 to 2013 Fords may require the scissors to be 2 inch to 3 inch off the center line toward the passenger side, depending on the fuel tank clearance. Clamp the lower frame under the chassis to the middle and front cross member. Drill the holes of the middle and frame cross member, then bolt the lower frame. The scissor fits between the lower and upper frames. Using the lower shaft, connect the scissor to the lower frame. Secure with the cotter pins. Bolt the hinge arm to the bed. Prop up the truck bed. Open the scissor. Bolt the scissor to the upper frame hinge. Bolt the upper frame hinge to the upper frame. The upper frame is clamped to the bed frame. Drill out the upper frame bolt holes. Clamp the upper frame reinforcement to the bed's upper cross member. Drill out the upper frame reinforcement hole. Secure the upper frame and the reinforcement with bolts and self-locking nuts. Later, before moving forward, do a dry run. Make sure the dump operates correctly. The 2004 to 2013 Ford required modification to the gas filler location. If the fuel filler extension, 1.5 inch by 9 inch by 22 inch, is used to extend the filler to the wheel well, then the fuel tank can be filled from the wheel well, opening without raising the bed. If the filler is just shortened without using the extension, then it is necessary to raise the bed a short distance to fill the tank. Disconnect the gas tank strap, shorten it, Weld the bolt of the truck's lower frame. Bolt the L bracket to the truck's frame on the passenger side. Drill out the holes and bolt in place. Be sure to stay clear of any electrical wiring. 
Mount the booker tower up, gravity down pump to the L bracket, and bolt in place. Move the pump coil. Seal the 90 degree fitting with Teflon paste and attach to the pump and hose. Run the hydraulic hose to the cylinder inside the scissor. Reinstall the pump coil. Tighten the nut. Electrical connections. Wire the black, or negative, to the pump L bracket nut, yellow to the small solenoid post, green to the pump coil, red, positive, to the large solenoid post. Route the wiring under the vehicle and secure with zip ties or electrical tape every 12 inches. Connect the pump's black and red cables to the battery. Install the 150 amp breaker by connecting the two red cables to the battery and pump solenoid. The last step is to connect the yellow and green wires to the toggle switch that will be mounted to the dash. Some pier stump kits do not allow the user to utilize the stock bumper due to the dump kit's required overhang. There are several modifications that can be done, however. The installer creatively decided to invert the bumper and fill in the opening with diamond plate. Their crafty solution allows the tailgate to clear the bumper when the dump is engaged.